it's always funny how the moment that Camille says MILF AF after she says uh, mommy I like to fuck and forget but then Lucy does always say this thing where well your dad didn't forget so um the judges did like uh Lucy and the fact that they went to overtime just shows like how well they work together Lucy and Camille um honestly at that point I actually thought that Camille and Lucy did much better than uh Rob Falco and Gavin Monaco. So, um, so yeah, Lucy won this one. So, Lucy and Camille are tied 1 1. Um, but for some strange reason, um, I don't know, it was just because maybe I've heard, heard of the the jokes for the roast for the two of them mostly the, most of them from before so I felt that it was a little different this time but it was kind of like the same jokes so um, so I figured that this uh, roast between Lucy and Camille I would say it was a 8.5 out of 10 uh, next up, I believe it was Los Digits. First time seeing the guy versus um, Sam Brillhart. First time seeing the guy too. For some strange reason, uh, Sam Brillhart reminds me of Mike Freeman, who actually does his comedy down here in San Diego. So he's like slightly chubbier than Mike Freeman, but. Yeah. Um, Those digits came out with a mask, but it was a bandana mask. So he looks like kind of like one of those Mexican gang members and stuff. Um, he had a Raiders cap on, I had a Chargers cap on. So, uh, but I think that um, Those digits won. Um, I guess. pretty easily, but I thought their roast battle was okay. <laughs> um, it wasn't like anything different from what I heard down here in San Diego, so so yeah, Los Digits won. Um, judges, I think they were I think they liked it, but they weren't too impressed, I don't think. Um, so I would say Los Digits versus Sam Brillhart I would say it was a 7.9 out of 10. Um, one of the judges mentioned for a guy who squats a lot during these uh, roasts, did 20 of them basically, and Los Digits still has no ass. So that was funny. Okay. Uh, and the last one, it was technically their main event. It was. Alyssa Potit versus uh, Effie Meadows. I think it's my first time seeing both. So, uh, basically, two Caucasian ladies. Uh, I believe Effie was a trans. Um, I think Alyssa Potit, I think she's. Um, I'm not sure if she. I think she's bi. So or something. I don't know. Um, so they went back and forth. Some of their jokes were pretty good towards each other. Um, I would say they're about as good. Almost as good as uh, Camila and Lucy. So I believe um, Alyssa beat uh, Effie. Um, I would say theirs was like an 8 point three out of ten so yeah overall I would say this roast battle at this 
comedy store. Um, I still feel like mm. I haven't been blown away by any roast battle I've seen so far. Especially at the mic drop and then the comedy store and then the comedy store Hollywood. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I have high expectations or maybe, I don't know, 8 Mile doing battles, rapping and stuff. Um, kind of spoiled me a little. Probably set the bar too high. Um, but yeah. Um, other than that, I got to uh, meet Lucas Hurl. He was one of the comedians that went up earlier, and uh, I got to talk to uh, uh, Chinedu Unaki, who sat next to me during the um, the comedy show. So. Um, other than that, uh, I'll say it's overall a good night. Um, it's kind of nice to kind of just take in the whole entire comedy store, the world famous comedy store. I do wish that I need to go to a show in the original room and the main room. So I need to look at the schedule for that. So, um, and I guess I, I didn't mention it earlier, but the Padres did win 10 to 3 over the. Seattle Mariners, so at least they beat the Mariners at least once. I know the Mariners are kind of a thorn in the side of the Padres. Um, Padres have a day off, but then they are back at it again on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so yeah. And then uh, today, it was Game 3 of the NBA Finals in Miami. Uh, the Nuggets pretty much started to pull away in the third quarter. And they kind of kept a certain distance. Um, the league got no closer than nine points. And it got down to 103.94. And the Denver Nuggets somehow um, gave the ball back to the Miami Heat. I guess it was like a, a loose ball. And the Miami Heat had a chance to try to get closer with over a minute to go or something, but unfortunately, the shot selection was pretty bad. It wasn't very in sync, so not only did he miss the shot, but the Denver Nuggets ended up uh, just getting the rebound and getting fouled and making free throws. So your final score was 109-94. So... Denver Nuggets are ahead two games to one in the best of seven series. Game four is going to also be in Miami on Friday night, uh, 5.30. Difference is, there's only one day off between games, between games three and four, but all the other games, they have a two-day um, day off, two-day break between games. So hopefully the Miami Heat, will pull it together and they will come back and even the series. Hopefully that's the case. Um, and then, uh, yeah, um, it turns out Jokic and Jamal Murray both got triple doubles. Um, the first time, I guess, in finals history that two teammates got triple doubles in the same game in the finals. So, uh, what's interesting about Jokic so uh, I'm going to two comedy shows. I'm going to a comedy show Thursday night. Um, it's hosted by Melissa Wiseman. It's going to be at the Mad Bomb Acid Vault again in downtown San Diego. And then I'm going to another comedy show Friday night. It's going to be at the San Pasqual Winery again in Seaport Village, downtown San Diego. So those should be fun. Um, I am thinking about going to a food truck Thursday again tomorrow in Seaport, in um, Color, uh, Coronado. Um, and I think uh, I'm going to try to find a way to watch most of game four of the NBA Finals before I go to the comedy show on Friday. So a lot of planning to do. But other than that, guys, um, I will talk to you guys later. Um, more stuff about food I'll talk about, more about comedy, and more sports. Alright guys, this is Tiki Maximus signing off. Have a good time, be safe, have fun, 
have some good food, see some good action, and see some good comedy shows, and I will talk to you guys soon. Alright guys, laters. Oh yeah!